Hello YouTube, before I start this video I would like to issue an epilepsy warning because the jump scare I have in this game has got some funky colors crap going on with it so yeah watch out for that if you have epilepsy I guess. So anyways back to the video, this video is going to be a little like anti-cheat tutorial where I'll show you how to make an anti-infinite ammo check on the server. So. I have these two guns. I have gun one, mainly client sided, and then gun two with server sided ammo checks. It's kind of hard to read down there. And so here's gun one. You see there's the same uh, ammo GUI for both. And so if I can shoot these guys a bunch and then eventually run out of ammo, I gotta press R to reload and then I can shoot them again. Very simple, right? But all you have to do to make an infinite ammo for this is just modify that value of the ammo in here. So now if I shoot, I can just shoot forever and ever and ever and ever using it from the ammo, right? But what if I do that to this gun? So you see I have the gun too equipped. It works just the same way where you can reload and you can shoot them a bunch. So now if I go to that gun and change the ammo to a bunch of numbers, then here's the epilepsy warning again if I shoot more than 10 times it gives me these little things that says that I failed and it doesn't shoot the person so that is how it works I will now show you a little bit what it actually looks like in game so here in studio I have this stuff this is the uh, jump scare thing. You don't really need to pay attention to that. This is what you really need. You can ignore this uh, bad code right there. So the main thing that we have here is we have the remote event, gun to remote and replicated storage over here. And we have an ammo table. This is the um, most important thing about this. So you see what happens here. Just some little checks on this. And it says if the first argument is shoot then does shoot code. As you see out here it takes away ammo and it shoots it takes damage to the humanoid so it damages whatever humanoid is. And then if arguments one the first argument is reload then set the ammo back to 10. Obviously if this were a real game you'd want to have some cooldown so you can't just keep spamming it because then it'd pretty much just be infinite ammo just spamming the reload button. But this is just a test to show how you can implement in infinite ammo check on the server side. So this is the main check right here. So once it says that uh, the person shooting, player shooting, it checks if the ammo of the player, so ammo's player, is less than one. If it is, then it does jump scare and it returns so that in none of this code runs. Otherwise, if the ammo's good, it checks for a part, returns if there's no part, it finds the humanoid for that so it'll find the dummy in workspace.dummies which are all these guys or it finds the player and then puts the players so that you don't shoot yourself and if it can't find it then return and then it subtracts one from the ammo and then it takes damage to that humanoid then if we go into the local handler we have uh, this reloading stuff where it'll fire reload and it'll set this to 10 and it'll update the text then we have this is uh, activated whenever you click so this is like the shoot you see it um it, this just checks if the ammo is less than or equal to one then it says it tells you hey you gotta reload and it updates the ammo which i don't really need this right here but it doesn't matter and then if the ammo is less than or equal to zero, then set it to zero and then return so we don't shoot. And then we fire the shoot with mouse at target, subtract the ammo by one and update the text. So this pretty much just makes sure that we have enough ammo and then shoots and then subtracts one from the ammo. So this is the client check and then this is the server check. So that is pretty much how it works. Um, if you have any questions about and maybe implementing this into your own game, you can leave them in the comments below because this isn't really an in-depth video. It just shows how you can implement 
a table containing all the ammo of players. Something that you'll need to take into account and consider is that if you have guns with different ammo capacities besides 10 and different damages, then you're going to have to store that on the server as well, like maybe with an equip gun event or something like that. So thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and like, and leave any comments if you have any questions or concerns.